66 million years ago, a huge asteroid fell to Earth. This caused the mass extinction of almost all living things on the planet, including dinosaurs. But if he had fallen elsewhere, some of the single saurus could have survived and survived to this day. It is believed that the asteroid had 1 in 10 chances to destroy dinosaurs and other creatures. It was much more likely that it would fall without any serious destructive consequences in order to understand how everything could have turned out. If you hit an asteroid elsewhere, you need to find out what happened that day and why this disaster turned out to be such a destructive asteroid fell into the coastal zone of the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. This caused a chain reaction that triggered natural disasters around the world. The place where the asteroid hit is called Chicxulub Crater. Now half of this territory is underwater. The asteroid was about 12 kilometers in diameter and moved at a speed of 43 and a half thousand kilometers per hour. That is, it was more interesting and carried an instance almost 40 times faster than the speed of sound. The energy that was released from the collision was the same powerful explosion of 10 billion atomic bombs. But the destructive blast wave was not the main danger. The asteroid accidentally fell in one of the worst possible faces, and due to the way it fell into the air, a huge amount of dust fell. Imagine that you are jumping the water like an athlete vertically, with almost no splashes. Now think about how much water is sprayed when you jump into the pool so cannonball. The asteroid just hit like a cannonball. The second aftermath of the disaster was the release of soot. Part of the Earth's surface is composed of rocks, and only a tiny percentage of this part is rich in oil and seven. Asteroid. Burned out. Lifted so much Sasha into the air that it would be enough to fill an entire stadium. According to a study 65 million years ago, only 13% of the planet's surface could contain the necessary amount of organic material to form such a volume of sash. This is why this place is the worst if the disaster happened somewhere in the other 87% of the territory. Dinosaurs would have been alive and today a huge cloud of soot and carbon dioxide rose into the air and blocked the sun. Sasha partially blocked the sunlight. This led to a rapid drop in temperature almost on the entire planet. The Earth found itself inside a gray curtain. Many plants and animals could not survive the sharp cold snap. Trees began to wither due to lack of light and the process of photosynthesis was disrupted by the cold and the death of trees led to another catastrophe of global hunger. Herbivores could not survive because there was no food left. Trees, flowers and other plants could not survive the catastrophe. The destruction has spread far beyond. The place of the fall of the asteroid hot dust particles fragments of the asteroid and small fragments of stone settled throughout the continent and caused forest fires, burning trees threw out more air. Sasha, which aggravated the situation, a huge asteroid contained toxic heavy metals, the melting of these substances during collisions provoked firestorms. The asteroid struck not only on land, but also on water, which caused a large-scale tsunami. And this is not all the bottom of the sea was filled with sulfate, and when the energy of the asteroid burned it, it provoked the release of sulfuric acid into the atmosphere, acid clouds, mixed with a cloud of soot and began to spread hot solid particles fell to the ground in a fiery rain, and then, behind the gray, acidic rain. It lasted several days and did not leave any chance for the animals to survive. Acid rains poisoned the waters in rivers, lakes and the marina. The acid destroyed everything that could not. Some of the clouds are burning on land, and the other part into the ocean, this made the situation even worse. After all, sulfur droplets destroyed a lot of algae and phytoplankton. The ocean produces almost half of all oxygen reserves on the planet in those days. The sea creatures that lived in its upper parts were not killed by a blast wave, but a lack of sun, acid, darkness and cold became the main reasons for the extinction of dinosaurs and even those lizards that escaped from the fire and sulfur met with the sea element collision with an asteroid caused huge tsunamis across the planet. The very first wave was more than one and a half kilometers. Height. This is almost three times higher than the Empire State Building. Billions of tons of water were rushing at a speed of 145 kilometers per hour. Such a powerful wave could easily destroy at least half of New York. The meteorite caused a series of waves 16 meters high. Walls of water the size of five-story buildings collapsed onto the shore and swept away all the lack of sunlight in its path. Temperature drop, acid and fire rains, decreased oxygen levels. Wildfires, giant tsunamis and a blast wave of a billion atomic bombs. All of this has reduced the biological diversity of the Earth by 75%. 
Giant asteroids have fallen to Earth before, but they have never caused such a disaster that if this asteroid fell somewhere else, say, into a forest far from water and mountainous terrain. This would set off violent fires, a huge black ash cloud rising into the sky and blocking out the sun. But this is unlikely to have caused acid or fire rains, most species on the planet could survive this catastrophe. And if a meteorite fell somewhere in the middle of ice and snow. This would lead to a rapid rise in temperature throughout the planet, huge tsunamis, would flood large areas of land, but ash and sulfur dioxide would not get into it, acid would not get into the ocean and many sea creatures could survive and survive to this day, and dinosaurs might not have noticed the meteorite falling at all. Worst of all, if a meteorite fell on an active volcano. This would cause Lavrov's largest outburst ever. Destructive earthquakes would begin, and the whole sky would be covered with volcanic ash, and if the meteorite fell into something empty. This would melt billions of tons of sand and turn it into glass. Just imagine glass dunes that heat our planet even more, and we could find in the glass, well-preserved remains of ancient lizards. Yes, there were many different possible scenarios for this disaster, and the worst of them turned into the death of dinosaurs. It is unlikely that they will return. But what if they can somehow be revived scientists were very inspired by ideas from a famous Hollywood movie. They wanted to find a mosquito that turned out to be an amber and extract dinosaur DNA from it. But with this there is one problem with the oldest DNA sample, which while it was possible to find 1 million years ago, and the saurus became extinct about 66 million years ago and DNA in general, which is fragile. The likelihood that it could remain intact somewhere for so long is very small. Therefore, instead of looking for the DNA of ancient dinosaurs, scientists decided to take DNA from their closest relatives, birds, over millions of years of evolution, dinosaur paws could turn into wings, and elongated mouths in the beak of pelicans, very similar to pterodactyls, ostriches for velociraptors, and chickens for tyrannosaurs. Let's imagine for a moment a chicken the size of a tyrannosaurus. Hey! You don't want a piece of meat common chicken recognized by the closest relatives of this huge lizard. If you remove the plumage covering with scales, give her a toothy mouth, instead of cool and attach a long tail, you will get a less Tyrannosaurus rex in body structure and by moving deep into the chicken's DNA there are genes that the formidable predators had with the help of genetic engineering. Scientists plan to play with its DNA and reverse evolution, which means breeding dinosaurs may become a reality. Then they can come back and bite you.